Hello. Today, I will give you a quick overview on the customer controlled upgrade for cloud data governance and catalog, data marketplace, and metadata command center. Okay, quick disclaimer information here is for informational purposes only. Now, what is a customer controlled upgrade? So, for data governance catalog, data marketplace, and metadata command center, you now have the option of upgrading your instances within a six week window. What that means is you have multiple instances. You can decide when you want to upgrade each of those instances. Now, of course, if you don't upgrade within those that six week window, tenants will be auto upgraded at the end of the window. Now, why does this help, right? So again, this gives you the flexibility of upgrading your own instances, depending on when you want to, what day of the week, what time of the day, and so on. You also basically now have an option of upgrading only your dev environment, say, test it out, make sure you understand the changes, and then you put it to UAT and then eventually into product environments, right? So again, this gives you that flexibility of trying it out before you really apply those changes or the upgrades to the product environment. Now the upgrade applies to MCC, CDGC, and CDMP all together, meaning you cannot only upgrade one application and not the other. All three applies. And this auto or customer driven upgrade is applicable only for major and standard releases. It does not apply again to patch and EBF releases, which will be controlled by our uh, cloud trusting. So what is the process, right? So each pod has a deployment window, an upgrade availability window, and a tenant routing window. Once the deployment is done during the deployment window, upgrade is now available for six weeks for the administrators to go ahead and upgrade right within that period. Of course, if not upgraded within the six weeks, automatic tenant routing will auto begin. And yes, there will be some notifications to let you know that uh, upgrade is coming. You can get more details about the upcoming release uh, by going to the Informatica community page, uh, and you will see a page like this there for every single release that's out there. Now, once a deployment is complete and upgrade is available, admins and super admin users will basically see a banner on MCC that tells them that the upgrade is available. Now, this banner will not be available for the non-admin users. Uh, and of course, as I said earlier, once this upgrade is available, you have six weeks to upgrade before system automatically pushes that upgrade your way. When you try to upgrade, uh, it will basically give you a pop-up which give, will give you details on what is contained in that specific release. Of course, you can review it. You can come back and upgrade it later, but you have the option of up reviewing and confirming before the upgrade process really begins. Once the upgrade is complete, um, you will basically see banner on the top saying uh, the version of the software for the specific applications have been upgraded. The same banner will also be available really for the non-admin users as well. So within the CDGC and MCC, if you're non-admin users, you will still see an, a banner that will give you a link to go and look at what are the new features that have been delivered as part of this release. And that's what I wanted to quickly cover. Thank you, hope this was useful.